What up, folks? This is um, Richie Draper on Rave TV, of course. I changed up my videos. I took a little break. Decided to change up my videos a little bit. It's more of a vlog style, more of a day-to-day -day action. Well, not day-to-day -day action, because I have a day job I work. But changed up, not just reviews. I'm more of a lifestyle, you know, because I am kind of rebellious. I'm an engineer. I'm kind of a crazy motherfucker. So uh, I'm going to try to, like, interact with y'all more like that. Anyway, you saw my title, Why I Hate Porsche. And I do hate them. I hate Porsche. But it's like a... It's like a love-hate relationship I have with them. You're probably saying I have a GT4. I know I haven't reviewed a GT4 yet, but this is my GT4, so you're probably like, what the hell is going on? That's coming. <laughs> relationship I always want to shoot them sometime shoot them right in the horse symbol they're manipulative they're like that crazy bad chick who you know you need to let go you know she ain't no good for you she's driving you crazy but for some damn reason you still talk to her. that's what Porsche is man they're good at this boy they have mastered the art of automotive manipulation for instance the GT4 of course again I got a review it this is mine I picked this up a few months ago uh, you'll see more on that but Porsche did this whole manual transmission seductive chess game and they started this some years ago when they came out with the 991 GT3 no manual PDK only it's for the track it's faster more efficient which it is and I remember they asked one of the leads at uh, Porsche AP why they didn't offer manual transmission or are they gonna do it and he was like no that will require modifications in aerodynamics and tires what I'm not a automotive engineer I'm a mechanical engineer but I mean I don't know why he says that anyway I think it was kind of some bullshit so people can just shut up and buy the PDK so of course you built up this huge demand for the manual transmission because everybody thought the GT3 was no longer gonna be a manual car there are no other manual GT cars blah 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 so then they came out with announced or the spy shots came out first about the GT4 Oh, Porsche is putting the 911 engine and the Cayman GT4, the last manual transmission Porsche or GT car, you know, at least from what we knew. So they had this big thing, you know, magazines online. It's going to be super limited, 600 cars only. So everybody was going crazy putting in deposits early. I put my deposit in really early. 600 cars, everybody wanted it. Everybody was going crazy. You know, they started to come out with the GT4, of course. They were going for $30,000 over sticker, just ridiculous amounts of money. And of course, it's slowly start making more. You know, like, yeah, we're gonna limit it, but not really. They're about, I know they're over a few thousand, definitely over a few thousand GT4s in the US right now. The original rumor was 600. Mark up $30,000 on an 85, or pretty much $100,000 car. And now, there are at least what, 4,000 in the world. Porsche, they knew this from the beginning and they, they watch these forms. I think they just read the forms and say, oh, we're going to keep on screwing with them out. We're going to keep on fucking with them until we make them go crazy. So anyway, we got the GT4. All right, cool. Last manual transmission GT. Rumors came out. 991 Mark II GT3. Oh, we're considering going back to the manual. But before that, there's a special edition 911 called 911 R. Rumor, of course. Manual transmission only. Wait. Didn't you just say that you're only going to offer the PDK on the GT3? Yes, but we're going to give you the RS with a special edition manual transmission and a super limited car. All right. And by the way, it's $200,000. And by the way, we're only going to make 991 of them. Bro, y'all are killing me. All right, so fine. How do I get one of those? Oh, you can't. Because all of the VIP customers of the 918, the 918 customers had a VIP program. So we didn't get first choice on all of the new portions. So all of the 911 R's went to VIP customers. Wait, wait. So you're going to give me the car that I want. A lighter weight GT3 RS with a manual transmission, pretty much. 
and only allow the VIP customers to buy it because there aren't enough to go around. What? So, here we go. Porsche again, playing the chess game. Everybody's upset because not living R is badass and nobody can buy it. All right, fine. Oh, not to mention, it just so happened that the 911 R was released on the 50th anniversary of the original 911 R. But it's not coincidence. Porsche had no, they had no intention on making a manual transmission GT3 after the 991 Mark 1 GT3. But for some reason, the 911 R was on the 50th anniversary of the first 911 R. Porsche, fuck you. And then we got the 991 Mark II GT3, of course, to where the rumor again is main own transmission and the PDK option, of which they really still have not confirmed, but we're pretty sure it's going to happen. So, over these, what, four years or so, Porsche has effectively killed the main transmission market and doubled it just with rumors and releasing automobiles. It's even their fault why the F430 manual transmission Ferrari would have been valuable. I mean, if they were, you know, Ferrari has its own market, but Porsche really is the one who made the people in the industry start lusting manual transmissions again. Like, save the manuals. Y'all see the shirt, save the manuals. So here we are, 2016, and everybody wants a manual transmission all of a sudden. So let's see what they do with the 991. 991 Mark II GT3. But yeah, that is why I hate Porsche because they fucking piss me off. Oh yeah, and let's not even mention that Porsche is the only manufacturer that has multiple lines of cars, newer cars that are all appreciated. All the GT3s are appreciated. GT4s really have a lost value. GT2s appreciated. Almost every special edition car they've developed in the last, I don't know, 10 years is appreciated. No other manufacturer, not even Ferrari, say that so what else oh yeah they play this little color game with you too so their Porsche has this option called paint to sample it's basically not really a custom paint but a um, bunch of select pre-selected paints that Porsche has that you can only order on certain times of the year whenever the allocation process is open so when I had my allocation for my GT4 or the brand new I wanted paint to sample I wanted voodoo blue or you know maybe Mexico blue or whatever a special color car of course because they're Porsche I couldn't get it brand new car pretty much hundred thousand dollars oh no you can't get the color you want because you didn't order your car in the correct window what what why do I have to worry about a correct window can I just give you the money to give my color so Porsche has effectively created a niche market for painted sample cars especially the GT cars and you can't do anything about it because they control when they have the open allocation slots for the special color paint that you want. So one other color chess game they did, the uh, 991 GC3 RS, when it came out, they offered it in the ultraviolet color and the lava orange. But for some reason, ultraviolet became super scarce, extremely hard to find, and Porsche couldn't, couldn't offer it for a while. So the ultraviolet cars spiked up to, I shit you not, $400,000. Approximately $200,000 car spiked up to $400,000 because Porsche says we can't get you an ultraviolet GT3 RS. So a year later, Porsche just sucks as fuck. Fast forward one year later, people are ordering brand new GT3 RS cars in ultraviolet. What? Didn't you just say I couldn't get the color? Like you just said this, and now I can order it brand new with the color with no crazy paint the sample markup or anything like that oh yeah so apparently Porsche found the limiting natural resource that was used to develop ultraviolet purple like it why did you limit the color it, it's not like it's hard to make colors that's probably the easiest thing you can do it's a different combination a different nozzle that injects a different type of color into the bucket or for some reason they couldn't find it or they, they ran out of they ran, I, we ran out of purple we don't have any more purple for you no purple for you, you have to keep orange. Oh, by the way, we found some purple. Bruh, how? I don't know how Porsche gets away with this. So that is why I hate Porsche, because they are the masters of manipulation. They tease you with those secret, quote unquote, spy shots and, and secret colors and certain times you can get a certain color on your car and special limited cars that are not really limited, but some are limited. They are the masters of marketing when it comes to this. I'm not even sure that Ferrari and Lamborghini are as good as mastering the market as Porsche is. They can literally change the industry. They do it all the time. They change the whole manual transmission industry. It went from do not want to I need now. 
to paying who knows how much for I can promise you the 991 Mark II GT3 that's coming out, which is going to be NA. Anybody who thinks it's going to be turbo, you're wrong. I said it, you're wrong. It's going to be NA. But I can promise you those cars and manual transmissions are going to be going probably $40,000 over sticker. The car is probably going to base price at, I don't know, $100,000. Forty-three thousand dollars base price. You know what options? You know you're at one sixty. They're gonna go for thirty, forty thousand dollars over markup because everybody wants it now. And nobody. And then Porsche makes you think they're not gonna do it again potentially. Uh, yes, this is my rant. This is my bitching about Porsche. Even though I just bought a Porsche Cayman GT4, on why I hate you. I hate to love you. You're that crazy woman I don't like. Anyway, that's my episode for today. I felt it yesterday. I had to talk about it. We're going to do some more soon, so stay tuned. We're going to change up a little bit of Auto Raid TV and uh, make some shit happen, so out.